Good morning, folks. NASA's Earth Observatory showing the Taylor Glacier in Antarctica, but I'm here to quickly go over the maps they maintain at the bottom of the homepage. There are way more than just six, and if you're not careful, you might lose half your Sunday screwing around on this page. Happened to me in 2011. Anyway, not only do they maintain the maps, but log the data and auto-loading video animation for all the data they have over time for that metric. And that's not all. Over on the right, forget their recommendations, just use your imagination. Combine the maps, watch them run together. It's super easy to switch them in and out. Some of my favorites are the fire map, the vapor map, the chlorophyll map, and the net primary productivity. Coming to the RSOE, where Australians take one of the top stories as Ranger Uranium Mine had a tank failure that released about a million liters of radioactive slush. Residents are encouraged to send in local news reports from the area. Coming to China, Shanghai essentially shut down due to pollution. Can't imagine what that costs and delays. Anyway, we have yet another volcano activating on the Kamchatka Peninsula. It was a fairly sized eruption. And the mass bird deaths at the Alaskan coastlines is officially blamed on an outbreak of avian cholera. As I go to the measurement mission, checking global accumulation, how do you not look right at India? It's the Bay of Bengal actually where the latest powerful cyclone is heading for the east coast of the subcontinent once more. Good luck with this one guys. Leaving Earth to share Goddard's latest moon phase animations is a tough subject for me because some good friends of mine online misunderstood some moon movements months ago and I couldn't seem to describe the way the moon should look to them. This may indeed be a response to the internet rumors about the moon going out of control, which obviously has since proven fruitless, but the moon is not a static figure in the sky, in illumination or tilt, and it does have some significant eccentricities. Excellent link here, found below the video. Go showing we still don't have a match for that M flare we started out with yesterday. Sunspots facing Earth do look stronger than they've been. Baby group I had total faith in continues to complex but is about run out of time here on the Earth facing disk. Goodbye. My attention turns fully to the incoming group. It has magnetic complexity already and what's this? It's also got a shadow. Big sister bringing up the rear. You will remember, we had a filament eruption two days ago. Yesterday's M flare also put out a small CME. The glancing blows are expected at low levels starting around tomorrow night or Tuesday, but until then, I've got a shock to deal with right now. As you look at the cosmic rays expectedly drop with that extra plasma shield encasing our planet in the form of the solar wind shock. Let's just go back to the evening news from last night when this was just starting. Density, speed, and plasma temperature all rising. The geomagnetic instability is not yet showing on the KP, but the magnetics are beginning to tremble and the electron flux is about to dive. Duration of event and time tonight will reveal all, but I suspect it's a coronal hole stream. As you see here, boy did it ever take that dive. Here's what the solar wind looks like now. Major speed ramp with falling density is 100% signature of a coronal hole leading density shock out ahead of the faster stream as it bunches up slower solar wind particles. Geomagnetic storm and instability are in progress. And as that energy integrates into Earth's systems, which is a minor quake watch factor, we'll look to the primary factor, coronal hole power, as it surges in the departing group. It's already left our view as we're at the December 8 position here. Incomers should ramp a seismic situation soon that has seen zero six pointers in the month of December, with two of those days having no fives. Oklahoma yesterday took an unusually sized tremor and some aftershocks. As for the larger global watch, do expect the upticks to begin tonight with Kuro, Alaska, Kamchatka, and Vanuatu already hinting. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.